tits and the lips. Or teeth. No, I said tits. You said tip of the tits. Tip of the... The tasty tip of the tip. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a restaurant or bar, like in a coastal getaway. Welcome to or somewhere in Ireland. Welcome to Tip of the Tits. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the tasty tip of the tits. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to Tip of the Tits. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sorry, the door was open. So I had to go. Uh, Come know. on in for a cold one and you'll be nipping. <laughs> I love this. Set you up for a great Tip idea. Tip of the tits. It's a new business. I love it. It's a new business. New business venture. Somebody open that in Ireland. Take it up with Scott. That's right. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Absolutely. We should open it in Boston. <laughs> they would probably do really you well. You would do there. really well in there. Um, See you at Tip of the Tits. I really like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're already off the rails, everybody. Uh, Today we're doing a movie review. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Did you watch a movie? I did. I've watched several. I don't know if it was the one we're supposed to review. Let's just see if we... We'll just see. Well, I bet it'll work. It'll Whatever probably. movie I saw, I you could just transfer the rating. You saw Schindler's List. I saw yeah. Snow Dogs. It'll be fine. Perfect. <laughs> Same rating. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why today we're already off the rails. Uh, uh, it's the first video of the day. Yep. Uh, but we saw the new 2022 film, Netflix film, Far. Not to be confused with Thor. One letter makes a huge difference. It's really true. People would be shocked to tune into Thor and watch this and I was like, versa. Anil Kapoor is playing Thor? That would work. That's a bit of a stretch, but yeah. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> he is worthy of the hammer. He is. Uh, anyways, but yeah, it's the new 2022 film. Um, uh, directed and written, the screenplay by Raj Singh Chowdhury. Who we know from a couple other things, and he's also worked with Anurag quite a bit. Anurag did do the dialogue. For this, our Dost Nonbar, don't know. All of the Pro above. Produced uh, and starring both Anil Kapoor and his son. Say his name. Uh, forgive me if this is mispronounced, but I believe his name is Hashwadarn. Yeah, and so it's starring uh, both of them. Um, and so if you're not a fan of nepotism, leave now. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Also, just well, don't, don't why would you also even, just don't exist. Yeah, because why, why would you even be here for any length of time? Because you would know very quickly that we have zero problem with nepotism. So unless you suck, yeah, unless you <laughs> suck, then there's a problem. We don't want people working just because they're related. But thankfully, a lot of the time they do good jobs. Anyways, but yeah, it just came out on Netflix. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it uh, and come back. It's only I think an hour forty. I think something like that. So yeah. real for an Indian film, it's ridiculously yep. short. Um, and this will be. Uh, Non-spoiler, and then we'll, when we get into spoilers, since it's a new film, uh, we'll, we'll do mostly non-spoiler, and then if we want to get into some spoils, we'll let you know beforehand. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Yeah, my initial thoughts, I'm going to do everything, obviously, by the rating system that I'm so happy I have finally come up with, where I measure the story, the performances, and the technicalities by five areas, whether they're entertaining and engaging, if it's excellent, educational, enlightening, and essential. Basically... That all comes out to whether it gets five stars, which most people are accustomed to that rating system. I like that as the rating system. And I uh, will go into all the details, but this is four out of five for mm. me. I, I thought this was uh, the only reason it's not a five out of five is because for something to have that fifth star, the story, the performance, and the technicality all have to be something I consider to be so essential that they need to be remembered decades from now. And while I think people could easily remember this film, and there may be people who feel that way about it, mm -hmm. for me, it's not. It it just doesn't have that. There's a couple things for it that just don't make it reach. But come on, that that I'm talking about one of the all time greatest films of all time when I'm getting into five stars. Yeah. So to give something a four out of five means see it. Everybody else should see it. Yeah, uh, There's m just mostly that's, great praise for this movie. That's one of the reasons I don't like the five-star system, because a good film can have three stars. R exactly. And I'm like, that just seems too low like, for I a gave, good film. I gave The Northman three yeah, stars, yeah. and I was like, everybody should go see it. That's why I just, I, I, yeah. I've never been a fan of the five star because I'm like, three stars seems too low, but you right. can give a good film three stars. Sure can. It just, it, I, yeah. But, anyway. but anyways, I don't really grade films, but yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed this film. Oh, so there's, it's, it's, in terms of Netflix in America, they're not doing well right now. Yeah. In terms of Netflix and Amazon, in terms of Indian content, 
They're doing extremely well right now. I really hope, I hope Indians here will, will tune into this uh, just because, first of all, they should. There's yeah. so much to praise about it artistically, yeah, yeah. and Netflix really needs a win. Um, and this, this well, they're winning really in help. India. Yeah, for they sure. really are. But I mean, here in the states. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get into all of it. Um, uh, just direction, uh, score, uh, acting, everything like. But we always start with acting. That's our favorite part. So yep. let's just get in. We don't get to talk about Anil Kapoor enough, even though he's one of the first actors we ever saw from India because of you know Slumdog, Slumdog. Millionaire. And uh, wasn't he in? Um, recent, Pie? No, recent oh. thing. Yeah, he was. He, uh, he's in uh, Mission Impossible. That's right. That's what it was. Yeah. Mission Impossible. I haven't seen it, but yeah. I, I heard he's in it, right? He, man, he does a great job. He, uh, he plays a funny character. Um, and obviously, we've seen some of his classics of Mr. India and, and other things like that, but he's one of the actors that I think is criminally underrated by us, not because anything he's done. It's just we haven't seen no. enough of his work. And anything of his we've seen, we've liked. But yeah, I thought he did a really good job in this. And yep. It was so different from everything else I've ever seen him in. It was really gritty, really grounded. Um, and I, I love him for, for going out because he's the producer on this. So yep. he's the... I mean, obviously, this is the director's vision, but he's like, I'm going to put my face on this. I'm going to put my money behind this. I yeah. really believe in this story. Yeah. And I, th <laughs> I love that. I do too. Uh, and I think he did a, a really good job at um, kind of show. He had a really complex character as well because obviously he was this kind of hardened uh, cop, but that obviously loves his family. I don't think he's a full on corrupt cop and he didn't no. full on go the, the route of going into politics. And right. so he, I think he kind of had a very. Oh, sorry, I, I'm not meaning to get into spoilers here. And that's not really a spoiler. But um, yeah, he had, I think, a very kind of interesting complex character and i thought he played it beautifully i did too i thought he was consistent throughout mm -hmm. i could see the amount of care that he had for the role yeah if he didn't i would be shocked um because i didn't sense there was any moment where he was phoning it in i felt like he was fully invested into this and obviously he is as a producer pun intended yeah he was fully invested but like we said when we watched the trailer the fact that they were producing and the fact that they were both starring in this made us believe that this was kind of a passion project for them, and I, it showed in the performances. And yeah. he's, uh, I, you can't, you could do the role different yeah. with a different actor, which is the beauty of the art form. Yeah, but you couldn't do it better. Yeah, I thought he did a great job yep. as well as his son man. and his son. I I same thought, same thing. CVS, stop calling me. Really, I don't need my plan we're B vaxxed right now. And the boosting, <laughs> you know, good grief, I don't need my plan B. <laughs> You, you <laughs> might not be able to get it, kids. Anyway, that's a well, whole other story. We're in California, so we're good. Yeah, then we're fine uh, here. <laughs> but anyways, his son, who we have not seen, I don't believe, right, in anything, right? No, no. Uh, I, know, I know he's done some stuff uh, in terms of... Uh, not, that's not him. Sorry. Um, where, their billing is My weird goodness, here. Okay. It is. It's very strange. Um, this one right here, I know a lot of people... Why don't they do it according to the star meter on everything? Because that's what that's typically done. Yeah. Anyway. But... Uh, it, Say this name. Yeah, Mirza's Lady. No, and no. Then Bobish Joshi Superhero. We've read to the trailer. Um, AK versus yeah, AK. Yeah, yeah, he's in that way, which we, do, we wanted we really, to see. We really need to see. I maybe, know, we really maybe, want to. Maybe that would be a good one for a watch along. That would be a, I think that would be a great watch. Yeah, yeah. You guys can let us know. Anyways, but yeah, I know he's in that one. A lot of people say it's really good, so you guys can let us know. But he did a, I thought it, a really, really good job. Me too. It's very subtle. Yep. Because a lot of times, different, I think Ryan Gosling does this a lot in terms of being kind of like a, an actor who doesn't say a lot on screen, but you can tell there's a lot going on behind his eyes. Correct. Like uh, Drive was one of those. He yeah. Does that, I think in La La Land uh, to, to some extent. Hardy's right? that way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't say a lot on screen. Uh, but they convey a lot with their their body and their that you just you could tell in their eyes there's a lot going on. I thought he he gave a, a I I equated a lot to Ryan Gosling's style of performance. In I, terms of I would a agree very with that powerful assessment. but very subdued. The great thing about him, like his dad and like everybody, we'll talk about the whole cast and the casting job that what a was good done. Product of nepotism, by the way. But yeah, and, and it, it's just one of those things of. We could bang on that drum all day. We don't care. Yeah. In fact, there's some. There's so many positives to being related to somebody in the industry that gives you a a step ahead. I somebody in the industry. Yeah, <laughs> it gives you a step ahead on so many levels that if somebody's around it and grew up around it and loved it and wants to do it, as long as they can actually 
bring it. It's like people in sports. If you can bring it to the game and play, play. Who cares who your mom or dad are? Yeah. And he sh- he can absolutely play. I this made me want to know more about him. Yeah. He he was probably the str- I mean there was a bunch of strong performances, but I think he was the strongest. Well, uh, his his has the most to risk uh, yeah, in that he, regard. Yeah. Because he because obviously there was a lot of not getting anything away. Yeah, he had. a lot. And there's if there was <laughs> the any, juxtaposition, especially for a young actor. Like I remember when we watched Shashant's first film. Yeah, it's so easy to try to impress, and that's the last thing you need to do as an actor. So many actors lose parts because when they audition, uh, they're desperate and it's seen. And when you get your first big role, if you're desperate, you'll you'll fall into the traps of overperforming, indicating, being in your head. And I saw none of that. And no. I I promise he it's felt very pressure. Shashant performance. It was a very Shashant level of groundedness, yeah. of vulnerability. charisma, yeah. vulnerability, and strength combined because he seemed... And what I, I also loved something in the story, which is we'll get into greater detail in the spoiler section, was how much mystery there was about pretty much everybody yeah. for the... At least the, for the full first act and most of the second act. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, he but did. the rest of the cast. Oh yeah, her. Oh my goodness, she was. She was and I'm so, incredible. What was her name? Uh, I wish I had written it down because I wanted to remember it. But they do a terrible job here with. I them. know with the photos and stuff. I think it's her. her. Navi. Say your name. Nevadita Batacharia. If that was the the main girl, please let us know. Does that uh, name ring a bell, babe? Okay. No. Yeah, oh, that's gotcha, why it pricked gotcha, up okay. your ears, but. Everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody was great. And our, our guy that we've seen before, the oh, yeah, from Sacred Games. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was he was Sartage's buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he did really well. Yeah, um, all the all the, every supporting character. Oh, wait. oh, was it her? Yes, I could tell by the small. It is. Isn't that her? Yeah, we've seen her. The before. wife. She had this dongle. Oh yeah, she was a kid. She was a kid. And Fatima Luda. Sana. Oh, Thugs of Hindustan. Yeah. That's the one we need to see. Fatima Sana Sheikh. Yeah, we've seen her before. Uh, and it's no shock. I, I didn't it didn't it didn't click at the time, but it's no shock because every single time we see her, whether it wasn't Dongle, Ludo, and I think something else, we always rave about her. And you can always forgive us for the Dongle one because they were the, the girls were so much younger yeah. in, in Dongle. I always but, forget. But uh do me a favor. I want to Oh, give she's a in sh- Modern Love. Oh, that'll be cool. Oh, great. That'll be good. Wonderful. I think we, we may have no, I don't think we noticed that. But do me a favor, go to the casting. Uh-huh. Um, just for the film in general. Uh, where are you? There you are. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Gautam Kishan Chandani. Mm. I thought the casting uniformly across Impeccable. the board, everybody was perfect. Yeah. Wouldn't have changed a single role. Everybody there did was, a great job. There was no weak performance nope. in this, which is which is always wonderful. Because sometimes yep. you'd be like, "Oh yeah, there were some supporting characters that were blah blah blah." There weren't any. No, nope. every every performance was strong. And there's there's stuff about story and and the technical that I want to talk about, yeah, but yeah. in the spoiler mm-hmm. section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but on that, uh, I thought from the very start, the cinematography in this was just impeccable. Impeccable. It, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful to look at. Not in like a Sanjali Bansali way, but in a, a, a reality, not on your gritty way, but a kind of there's a lot of films that are that are this style and it was very i saw a lot of odes to def, different westerns yes and even cholet yeah i saw obviously that when they even said basanti in it and then i think there was a shot that i think was almost shot for shot a uh a, a frame replication from cholet you guys can let me know but like I, a tip of the cap kind ones of ones with like there was rocks in the background yeah 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 and then there was there's like a bunch of the men Mm. Were, were standing in the rocks and mm. which was very reminiscent of a Cholet. So you guys can tell me. Yeah, and there was clean. a shot that where the framing on the shot was so pretty, but it was again an understated beauty. And it, throughout the other thing, the whole team, uh, from the color correction and mm-hmm. and the lighting people making a uniformed palette throughout that carried the same quality of look that is on the poster. There's a uniformity to the trailer, the yeah, poster, and the absolutely. film of visual aesthetic that's extremely difficult to to maintain unless you have people at a high level oh, yeah. of capacity. And this, this film's got that. Oh, as easy. well as, I thought, the score was 
Oh yeah, perfectly matched. It was perfect to the visual field, and it it was a lot of it was a very because they were going for like a western vibe, right? But without I mean, being too without, spaghetti western. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It definitely wasn't like a, a spaghetti western. Not at all. But the, like with the whistles in the background and, yep. and the, some of the stuff could have been hokey. Yeah, it could very well could have been, been really bad. But uh, once again, tip of the hat to uh, Raj Singh. Um, yeah, say his last name. Raj Singh Chaudhry. Uh, who he. We've seen him a few times in terms of his directing, I think. Uh, but we've definitely seen him in writing because he does work with Anurag a lot. Yeah, and that goes without saying. It When you watch this, you will instantly recognize two things. This is the kind of film that, that Anurag loves, uh, both to watch and to create, and that the dialogue shows that it's written by somebody who knows how to write scripted dialogue. Yeah. It's incredibly well written yeah in terms of the dialogue that's one of my uh, i've always said i think that's i i think anurag's talented in many respects i think his strongest strength is dialogue writing i, I always has been i agree with yeah. you he is he's the kind of writer that an actor is like please let me put those words in my mouth because every one of them will feel believable yeah and then obviously Raj, who directed and wrote the entire screenplay and it's a great story. the film, it's a great I story. did a, a, a really good job at making everything believable, yep. everything like everything that was like a natural step progression, yep. also making it short, which I think it actually could have been a little longer even. Uh, and you could, you could have gotten a little more could character been. development. But could have been. Nothing no, no, was wrong with the way it was done. Not at all. Actually, I appreciate Indian artist not making every film two and a half hours mm -hmm. um, when it doesn't need to be. Yeah. Um, and so I thought he he did a, a really phenomenal job at, one, not giving a flying shit about censor boards and pe what people Don't think give anything about, away, though. about gore. There's, yeah, you need to know there's before you watch some it. some good gore in this. Before you watch it, <laughs> I love saying things like this because I said this in my review for this film that's out right now here called Happening. Happening, yeah. Which, if you can see that anywhere, please see this film happening. I don't but, think it's out most places but, right now. Yeah, I know. It's it's tough and it's just... LA gets stuff first a lot of the time, but hopefully it'll go everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. But I said this in that review. This, like that, for similar reasons, is this is for the big kids. This is for a mature <laughs> audience Remember, yeah. this is for somebody who can handle um, gore, and this is for somebody who can handle uh, just open communication at an adult level. This would probably, in, in, in America, this would be, give, be given a rated R. Um, yeah. For, so for, you just need for, to know that going in. For violence. This and, is and not a kid's gore. story at all. No. No, this is for the adults. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. At every level. Um, but I don't just mean that in the maturity level. I mean that in terms of intellectually, yeah. emotional IQ. This is a film that a lot of people might not stick through because they just, it'll be, it, it, it will be beyond them but to understand out, what's being con conveyed. Shout out to him in terms of showing that. Yeah. And to VFX because all of it was great. Incredibly and it looked good. real. Incredibly good. Let's great. let's go into spoilers, spoilers right now. So please you should go watch it. It's watch one it. only an hour forty minutes. Yeah, it's going to be a quick watch. It deserves you're watching. You're going to be you're going to enjoy it, um, unless you don't really like gore. But eh, I think you'll still enjoy. It. <laughs> even then, even then, someone like because Indrani's not a big fan of gore. She 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 didn't watch it with me, but she would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, she there are moments she'd turn away. Yeah, and that's what, that's what she does. She just turns away from the gore and then comes right back and keeps watching. So but anyways, anyways, go watch it. We're going to get into some spoilers. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> so. First of all, if you're wondering if the the gore was gratuitous, it may be gratuitous for someone's personal sensitivities. But when it comes to story, you need to measure the gore based on the story being told and whether or not either the violence or the gore or the nudity is being done for a voyeuristic viewpoint to ca cause people to say, ooh, did you see? Versus like I think in here, you need to see that stuff. Oh yeah, it it's it's an a really important part of the story. Oh, very. Yeah. Um. Obviously, for once it, again, we're in spoilers, but yeah, for many different reasons. For obviously why he's doing everything exactly. he's doing, and also the Chuck. I loved his whole the um, our, our lead here. Um. Sorry, I don't. Um. I can't say that name. I know it's a uh, Harshvardhan. Harshvardhan. I hope that's correct. And how different his character was. It was he's so obvious, and you knew you kind of. Figured something like this was going on. I was like, well, "Why is he doing this? Like, what is he just an assassin? Is he right. just what Did is they going take his on here?" Yeah, but then obviously you figure out why, and you're like, "Okay, I get it. You're right, yeah, right. I understand. Totally understand." Uh, <laughs> but he's so gruesome, at, uh, obviously, in in getting 
justice or whatever he, he revenge or whatever right yes um but then he's so tender with her and like obviously the, the, which was a great scene i feel like when you know she finally came in the room yeah and it was real sad to see what she did right away she was just like the only yeah thing just lay ever, down and roll it up sh only thing she's ever known that's is, intimacy in her life yeah is yeah that, okay i want to have sex with this is how you do it right right and it was a very tender sweet like legit making love scene. Yeah. Um, and he was very sweet. They just held each other. Yep. And, and then the next scene, he's like cutting off somebody's goddamn finger. Yeah. And I loved it. And the 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 makeup crew and visual effects people, it was flawless. It looked like fingers are getting chopped off. It looked it like did. nails are getting nabbed, oh, nailed into feet. Oh, man. And I got to also, that burn was spectacular mm -hmm. because you couldn't really tell that any gel was put on those bare feet. That was a real burn mm -hmm. and it looked, it was, it was, and you only saw partial. It was just the, the burn part was an incredibly well done effect and stunt. A lot of, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm assuming Anil and, 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 uh, baby Kapoor, uh, <laughs> sorry, baby, Kapoor. <laughs> baby Kapoor, um, put a, a good amount of money behind this or if it was Netflix I don't know because a lot of the VFX were really really good I can't imagine why you wouldn't at, at not just that but like some of the animals as absolutely. well absolutely like the like um which I thought was a really creative time lapse thing what they did with the bull, the the bison I agree and, and I think it was I, when you're someone of the stature and the longevity of Anil Kapoor mm. It speaks volumes to the quality of this film that he has put his name and his money into as well as his performance. That it speaks to the fact that he's an artist. Mm -hmm. He's not just a movie star. That he's someone who wants to make, and that the, you know, they've got someone like an Anya Rag to write the dialogue. And I'm sure if we looked at the credits of everybody on this team, these are people with credits that show a capacity for artistic excellence and it shows in the final product. And it just speaks volumes that He's he's doing a film that is of this caliber at all levels because there was nothing wrong with any of there's you can't find flaws in the technicalities yeah. anywhere. I the only place I found and it, it's not even a flaw. The only reason this doesn't get five for me yeah. is the fact that there was that ex extra element of essentialness that I I just didn't think it carried for a film to be remembered fifty years from now. Not that it couldn't be, but. I also didn't think if that was going to change anything, mm. and I'd love to know Anya Rog's take on this. I will. I thought the film was going to end when the camera was above and we saw the strewn dead men. Yeah, that said a lot. And then when it said six months later, my first thought was Corbin's going to hate that. <laughs> and then my next thought was, <laughs> as well written as that was, because it was very well written. It seemed to be unnecessary because we've already got that message. His final monologue was almost, it, I won't say it was a spoon feed, but it kind of was. I thought it was a superfluous addendum that didn't necessarily need to be there. What did you think? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I never well, liked it. Ne it was such an, a brilliant drone shot. That drone shot and the fade to black. And the, and the fact that, uh, shout out to Raj um, and his cinematographer, uh, Sh Oh, yeah. Once again, cinematographer is a female here. Did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. Which uh, we, we should talk about cinematography. Yeah. Shreya Dev. Uh, I think it's Dub. Dub. Dubé. Forgive me if we mispronounce um, that. Phenomenal job. In, Great. In, in doing in, in your camera work. Um, and lens but, selection, by the way. Yeah. You did some shots where you didn't use need to use a particular lens, and you did it just for a particular look. Really yeah. good calls. Uh, she did a great job. Uh, I, I would love to see more of her because I, I I think that was one of the there was a lot of strong stuff for this film. I think the cinematography is one of the strongest elements. Agreed. Of it. Agreed. But the the last drone shot, the setup of it was brilliant. Brilliant. The, the fact that everybody you know it was, it was like a stage, and he just revealed more and more and more, and it was of such the a the decimation. Yeah, it's such a strong statement. It, that it I, I never like it when films don't end on the strongest possible statement. I gotta tell you that that and that, it was. Go ahead. No, no, no. What it was? What? No, I was saying. I, it wasn't the worst. Six months later. No, 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 thing no, no, no. I've ever not seen. at all. I don't think it ruined anything. Not a, exactly. It's not a flaw. No, but. I, I always prefer ending a film on the strongest possible moment. I might have given it four and a half. I could have come close to giving it five because when I thought that was the ending, I got the message that Anil just said at the end. And I'm like, yeah, you just told me that in the past hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. Because that final shot showed you everything he was saying about 
vengeance is a double-edged sword. And ultimately in the end, when you take vengeance, yeah. all you leave behind is there's no justice. It's just decimation. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. It was either. shown. Um, and like I said, it wasn't the worst uh, ending a, I've ever seen. No, because it was a beautiful model. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was good. And him picking up the girls and, and everything yeah. was, was, it was it was nice and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you kind of showed that she was pregnant. She wasn't impotent. And they drove off into the sunset. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I get all that. It's just my personal preference is always going to be ending on. And that was a, such a strong shot and message of that shot. Yeah. It, of the drone shot. Difference between high level cinema versus like a movie. And yeah, I would have preferred that. But yeah. that's again, yeah. that's not a flaw. That's it's just probably, a preference. That's probably my biggest gripe with the Me film. too. Me it's too. Just that. And it's not that big of a gripe. It's yeah, not at all. That's <laughs> I mean, that's why it's really uh, I just I love the movie. I would watch it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. I would recommend it. I to think people. If people are looking for for a film to watch this weekend, and I think it's. I'm glad, even though I think it would have been cool to see it in theaters because I think a lot of these shots would have been even would have been better. everything on big screen is it, better. Yeah, it would have been even better. But the fact that smaller films like this get a life on OTT is a wonderful thing, and that they get a life away from the censorship. Yeah, because that's I, this would be the artistry in this would be uh, blasphemed with mm -hmm. censorship. Yeah. If they blurred out something or if yeah. they uh, didn't show the finger literally being chopped off. Correct. Or the... the or broken and hanging. Yeah. That was a great one. Or the nails literally. It was like the... The, 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 um, the nail on the feet. The nail on the feet of the... Why am I yeah, our, our, our buddy from Sacred Games. No, no, no. Um, the Jesus. Why am I forgetting? Oh, the, Passion of the Christ. Thank you. I don't know why I'm forgetting yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was like it was like oh this is like a crucifixion moment here ah yeah and even the the stationary visual effects of with the makeup crew when he was pouring the liquor down their the open wounds Oof, on his back yeah, yeah. Um, the open wound was great and the continuity of woundedness mm -hmm. um, ev everybody did a, a spectacular spectacular job yeah I'm very glad it, it turned out as well as the trailer um, that came out and so uh, hats off to Raj Singh um, Chuck Chuck. Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Yeah. Raj. I'm going to just call you Raj. Um, shout out to Raj for making such a, a quality film. and Because I think it, it, it ultimately falls on him, the fact that everything was such high quality. Director's call, man. <laughs> He's like, okay, I want Anurag for the writing. I yep. want I want Shreya for cinematography. I want, you know, these actors. I want Correct. blah, 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 blah. It's him, and, it's, it's him and Anil. Yeah. They're the ones. And obviously his son, because he's a producer as well. And I bet he had a lot of say being a producer. But I bet Papa's really proud uh, oh, yeah. of of his son. And, and this, this is a film that if you were part of it, you have a lot to be proud of. Oh, I would. Yeah, I would have loved to. Like, it's certain films as an actor... If like you're not always proud of it, yeah. Obviously, sometimes you do it for the money. Obviously, <laughs> like Nawaz, uh, we know that film with Tiger <laughs> was apparently just god awful. But <laughs> it was like, hopefully, he got his money right. Yeah, yeah got paid well. <laughs> so, and, but those are the ones you see Nawaz going out and promoting all the time. <laughs> yeah, you see him promoting like. And then the sad. We've talked about this. The sad aspect where you do something that on page was great, yeah. on set felt wonderful, and then in the final product, you're like. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go home now. This is one of the ones. Like, if I was involved, I would have oh, been very excited to promote so this and, and get everybody to go see and yep. get their feedback from. Um, so you, um, um, you should all be very, very proud. Hopefully, because this is the thing that's frustrating. You know, especially with you, it's it's kind of I've been told it's popular to uh, kind of shit on Bollywood, right? Right. It's the popular thing to do because they were they were the big dog for the longest time, right? But when they come out with stuff like but I do this um ludo or uh, people don't mimi yeah mimi they don't support those ones uh, and then they say they don't do anything original <laughs> yeah and they're doing all well, this stuff it's, because, it's just it's it's because too often people are more interested in the status of their stars or the predominance of their industry or, or what the myth film makes yeah or or yeah or the box office which is dumb <laughs> when all of those are nowhere near as important and shouldn't even be in the same conversation as the artistry. Yeah, like this. Period. Or other industries like The Last yeah. Farmer yes. should have made a ton of money. Like, yes, yeah, all uh, that other stuff is just bullshit yeah. comparatively. But anyways, fantastic film. Great movie. I uh, hope you're still not here if you haven't seen it. Uh, let, yeah. us know, <laughs> let us know what you thought about the film, if you have watched it, and what should be the next film we should watch. From, from, from all everybody of, who's Everybody in involved. Everybody. Uh, down below.